नमस्कार माय नेम इज आशीष विद्यार्थी एंड वेलकम टू द हेडफोन एक्सपीरियंस टुडे आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू अबाउट नर्चरिंग द जर्नी यू नो दैट यू हैव हैड ड्रीम्स इन द पास्ट I shall tell you something about my life and just see if that adds up for you in your life. So I was born in Delhi. I initially lived in Karol Bagh then moved to Lakshmi Nagar which was across the Yamuna. It was a irregular or what was called as the unrecognized colonies. At any point the uh the dda could come and make sure that it was uh, demolished but it remained and later on it was regularized and now it's a bustling part of delhi but growing there in lakshmi nagar i want to share with you an image which has remained with me an image of looking out towards the west from the window of our drawing room which was one of the two rooms that we had and looking at the ever darkening sky there was a period when the sun used to shine right into the room it was only till afternoon and then buildings grew around us but i remember when i was in school i used to come home and look out of that window and for a very long time i could I could gaze into the sky couldn't see the sun but definitely saw the sky and the orange I was hopeful I was really hopeful my friend because I wanted out of where I was I wanted to be very good in academics really <laughs> but I wasn't good in academics I wasn't good in math I really wanted to do science probably join the IIT could not because I wasn't good in math I was struggling with it I really wanted to but I could not and I also knew that I wanted to take my family out of the surroundings that they were in my parents were very hard working people and both of them were my father had retired and my mother was about to retire and she was in fact taking extensions i wanted something for them but i didn't know what but i do recall looking out of that window and hoping hoping something can come out of my life hoping that i can do something something unique for them as my journey continued as i became an actor which will be a topic of another video i discovered that you know if that future has to be created it has to be created by me i knew that around me whatever was there that is all that i had i could have dreams but i had to step out of the reality to venture towards the dream and for that i needed to take care of myself isn't it true dear friend that all of us do see dreams have seen dreams in our life but then over a period of time we have given up seeing those dreams because our dreams have faltered or rather we have faltered on route to that dream today as you listen to this i want you to consider consider that life is not about reaching all your dreams life is about finding your way during your journey because my dreams continue even today they continued through the journey and even do so today and each time the failures that i have are failures which are in journey in transit towards that larger dream the funny thing about each one of us is that <laughs> i don't know about you i keep i keep encouraging myself to look beyond this present because whenever the present doesn't excite me i want something else
So I create mental games for myself. It started when I was a child. I was the only child. I used to come home alone. There was this lunch that Ma would have put in a hot box, you know, and, and I would open it. And I still remember there was this slight smell when hot food and put it, is put in a hot case and uh, the moisture is there. But I knew that Ma had done so with a lot of love and affection. And as I was, I would have that food, I would think, how else can I do something in my life? So as I became an actor, it was not a one day process. In fact, it was years. It was years of stepping into chance. Stepping into chance each day. That's true for you too, isn't it? Each day, each one of us steps into chance. We are not sure of what's going to happen, but we still step into chance. I want us all to get that as we step into chance, we are stepping into the new. Because the new is the only constant, my friend. The old that we want to hold on to. If it was me who wanted to remain with my parents amidst their love and affection, I had to let go of it and step into that new, the new of chance, which didn't have the surety that my parents' love gave me. Look for yourself in your life, dear friend. Of all the things that we create, we then want to hold on to them. But life is not about holding on. Life is about moving on, letting go of that that we created. And as we move on, we are again committed to nurturing the new. Nurturing, yes. Nurturing not just the new, but also nurturing ourselves. Or as I would like to say, nurturing me. Nurturing me and I'm speaking for you too dear friend your life is about you nurturing yourself because in this journey of life as you go through many many different aspects as you go through many different challenges you need to take care of yourself my friend so even as you're listening just say it aloud shut your eyes and just say I will nurture me I will nurture me. In fact, I nurture me. Because only when I can nurture me, I can prepare myself for this journey. This journey is truly challenging. Remember, we are stepping into chance. It's a bit like that football player or the cricketer or any player who goes out to play each day could get injured that ball could come and hit that person could trip you and you could fall hit your face hard against the ground and bleed yes my friend life is about you and I dealing with what life throws at us and for that we need to take care of ourselves we need to prepare ourselves we need to hug ourselves because when in the midst of that life, we will not get time to hug ourselves. So, today, as you listen to this, I want you to give yourself a hug. Really let yourself know that you love yourself. Just say, I love me. It may sound corny to you, but seriously, it works because you are your best friend dear friend and as you the dear friend lets you know that you are cared for I promise you you will be ready for that new that chance you will know that you go there equipped by the fact that you are loved you're cared Caring is not just for a person who's running, but caring is also for that person who may trip, 
who may fall. And many of us are afraid of falling because we think that the world will give up on us. Remember, I tell myself each day, Hey Ashish, even if the world gives up on you, I will not give up on you. I want you to tell yourself the same thing. <laughs> I will not give up on me because it's my life. And I know as I try different things in my life, I will trip, I may skip, I may fall, I may run, I may reach heights, I may hit rock bottom. But I have me with me. Guess to your friend, as you nurture yourself during this journey, you have you to look after yourself. I will continue this conversation with you. I want to hear from you how you feel having such headphone conversations with me. Your feedback would be valuable because I intend to continue this journey of having conversations about simple things in life which we can just listen with our eyes shut and make a difference to our life. Because one life, dear friend, one life, and we will make a difference to that one life. I look forward to hearing from you. You may send me a mail on reaches at ashishvidyarthi.com or join me on Twitter on ashishvid, on Instagram on ashishvidyarthi1 or on my website avidminer.com and of course please do subscribe to my youtube channel Ashish Vidyarthi Official I'm enjoying this conversation called life because I truly believe that you and I if we nurture ourselves we can create something fascinating with our life Al Shukran Bandhu Al Shukran Sintaki thank you for listening in Cheers, till we meet again.